welcome to Old Nick's Wednesday Market. Let's go check everything out. Wow, I was not expecting it to be this crowded. Yeah, yeah it's full. Obviously, it's a Wednesday market thing. Or something. Let's go yeah. check it out. Good yeah. things. This elephant is awesome, but check out these peacocks. Beautiful. Oh, man. oh, look at the size of that giraffe. He's got such a friendly face. <laughs> Look at the workmanship on that with the beading. Absolutely amazing. And here's his card. And he makes more ones as well. It's adorable. That's small one. They'll view for key orders and backpack orders. And there he's... actually makes it. Yeah, he's making it. What's your name? I'm Lionel Kacham. Famous wire at the There you go. It's great stuff you're doing here. Awesome. Yes, thank you so much, guys, for liking it. And I hope you're enjoying your holiday as well. Yeah. Yes, definitely. It's fantastic. Yeah, that's so lovely, guys. That's so lovely. Yeah, that's so lovely. And you actually do have produce. Yeah. Good and new. Those look like figs and radishes. Look at these awesome quiches. Yeah, bacon and cheese and stuff. And these are hot toggies. It's got like a coconut and apricot jam classic South African snack. Really? Yeah. And crunchies, I know crunchies. <laughs> and all sorts of other interesting looking cakes and, and rusks. And you make them all? Yes. Okay, wow. Oh wow, Wonderful. so she makes them herself. We got Mandy's, there's some chili and? Chili sauce, some, some chutney and also some pansy shell soaps. Pansy wow. shell soap. Because although we haven't been to the beach yet, you'd find these on the beach. That's right. I weirdly thought they were cheese when she offered us pate, so. <laughs> New business item, Mandy. Pansy shell cheese. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Mmm, it smells lovely. Mmm. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. All the good stuff, butter, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Knows how to make a, a proper mm -hmm. liver proper. pate. That's delicious. Mm. And there's the pricing. Mm -hmm. What size is that one? That's a small, but it's full. That's a small, okay, but wow. it's full. So it's mm. 45 rand for a, a thing that's Decent full. Size. Okay. Wow. Wow, nice. Well, this is apricot chutney, but check out these chilies, different types of chilies. Oh, to make great. a chili sauce. Lovely on chicken. Awesome. Oh, I'm sure. We got some wool. Those are big knitting needles you got there. Yeah. Are you knitting these things? What are they? Like like um, booties. Sheep booties. Sheep booties. Oh, oh they feel so good. And I also like, got the beanies. Oh man, cool. <laughs> oh and the, and this is like a dreadlock beanie. Yes. <laughs> so you get yourself you get yourself some proper hair. Yeah. Would it suit me? Yeah. So I have myself I a beanie. Yeah, put it on. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go visit my friend Bob. <laughs> <laughs> go wow. Does it look? Does it suit me? No. <laughs> what do you mean no? <laughs> do I look better with long hair? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> she likes you natural. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are cool though. Really cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. And veterans? Wow. So they actually shear the sheep themselves. Yeah. yeah. They have and the they sheep make this wool. and they're actually yeah. making the wool. Making the wool. This is a That's from a scratch thing. made in South Africa product. And look at it, it's it authentic. Like so it stretches. Yeah, it can fit your feet. Mm -hmm. It's natural. So we've got some gorgeous stuffed animals here. And like a whole swimming pool full of them. I mean, that has got to be some child's complete heaven. So we also have some bird feeders and some water feeders for birds, but have a look at these things. You just hang them up and feed the birds. Find some jewelry, Rick. Yeah. And necklaces. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's also some kombucha here. Kombucha, kombucha, and cultured spicy sauerkraut. Oh. Yeah, it's a cool market. And it, it looks is. like most things are like homemade. Yeah, it does feel like a home market, you know, where the people actually make their mm -hmm. stuff. But it's actually quite big. Yeah, it's really big. Keep going with some t shirts. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is local local clothing. So they have all like Babalas instead of Adidas. And... They can take our electricity, but they can never take our price. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool. Oh, some cute beanies. <laughs> Macarons. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, those are like another level. They are proper, proper. Such an awesome gift box. Yeah. And they're all natural flavoring. Yeah, and, and some of them gluten free, well, mostly. It's just like the cookies and cream because we use Oreo cookies. Okay, That's real why cookies it's not are harmed. Free. <laughs> and um, what else no, is not gluten free? Oh, the best coffee is not gluten free. So, pretty much only two of them. <laughs> so, they're carrying 18 flavors. How amazing do those look? What a great gift. And all natural. We've got a macaron with a little bee stamp on it. Oh, wow. Well. Awesome is it? It's natural, made with honey and stuff. And ginger, fresh grated ginger, and they make the caramel with just honey. Oh wow. Good. Oh, pull it up. oh wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Oh man. I've like, got two, one for you as well. Right? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that is so good. I love the ginger. Absolutely. Is it the ginger in the middle? Okay. The cream around. Okay, wow. So you guys might have to let me know what this is. It says Kerry Bone. Kerry Bone. Kerry Bone. Oh, it's beans. And a beetroot chutney. And a pineapple relish. Wow, those sound amazing. And onion marmalade. Green bean curry. We're just going to taste some. Mmm. It smells like um, almost pickled. It's like a um, piccalilli. But it doesn't have all the all the uh, beaches in it. Mm. It's like sweet, sour. Mm. There are so many beautiful homemade products here. Look at these olives and olive tapenades. Oh, loads of different types of rusks and some muffins. Oh, and muesli. Oh, this is hashtag bamboo, so I assume that they're making bamboo sunglasses. Yeah. It's pretty cool, like mine. A little bit recycled, a little bit good for the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have enough artists at the market. Ah, here we are. They've got some curries and things, and uh, all these things. Pizza. Wow, now those are some breakfast treats. <laughs> so Hi. Of pancakes. That is classic South African fare. You're on that side. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon and sugar. Lemon juice. <laughs> Hi. You're making pancakes. We're making pancakes. Oh, wow. In a Galandan wagon. They are special. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> oh, here we go. Just pour it onto the little pan. And on it goes. You must make a lot of these on a Wednesday. We <laughs> do. So these ones are actually more crepe like, so a little bit thinner than regular pancakes. No, quite a lot thinner. <laughs> but there's a long queue, so it must be good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see. You don't ever try to flip them by hand. <laughs> oh, because of the roof. <laughs> Did you want the Sugar and cinnamon? Beer, yes, yes, I'm getting a ginger beer in one of these. But my wife's there, she should be ordering. Okay, well, she do Love the creativity of what you guys. And a milk tart. Got yourself some pancakes there, Rick. Mmm, traditional. 
South African pet. Look at the, the thinness and oh, cinnamon sugar. Very much like a crepe, not American at all. So good. Mm. Oh, really thin. Mm, it's lovely. Oh, yeah. light, and you could just eat probably a hundred of them. It's so cinnamony, you could. All right, um. Oh yeah, look at the bottom. There's actual ginger. Actually, properly made. Uh huh. Busy from from natural processes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can taste. It. It's like real ginger Good beer. Good stuff, eh? And it was like 20 rand for these two pancakes and the ginger beer. Oh, I can smell it from here. 6 rand from this. Yeah, give that a whiff. Ooh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, samosas. Hi. Samosas. Oh, my word. Look at this. Does it look like spring rolls? Yeah, and they've got a Thai menu. Spring rolls, one time stir fry, green curry, and samosas, 10 rand each. Oh. So those must be the one tons. Uh huh. And then what samosas do you have? We've got the cheese and corn, beef and potato. I think we've got some chicken What do we try? And there goes that. Got a cheese and corn samosa. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cheese on it. Yellow. Well, this is beef for a Philly cheesesteak. Because it's a Philly cheesesteak, of course it's going to get some cheese. Uh-huh. Of course it's going to get some cheese. There we go. I wasn't paying attention. You put more cheese on. <laughs> oh, and then the onion on top of the cheese. Are you going to try and stick that into that tiny little roll over there? That's a portion. That could roll. But, but the, the roll no, no, is... No, no, no. It's a hot. Just there like that. That amount. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I was panicked a little bit. I would love to. I can't get the roll right, man. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is the brisket. Yeah, this is the brisket. Oh, wow. <laughs> you want to taste it, you're more than welcome. That's how oh. we serve it. So. That, that's a taster. Yeah. yeah. That thing is huge. Still trying to figure out how to make profit. Don't be making people happy. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out, Rick. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, that's like a chunk of brisket. This is a taster, mm. remember? Nice. Okay, oh, yeah. mm. And it's smoked for 15 hours in a Jack Daniel barrel. Wow, it's smoked for 15, 15, 15 hours in a Jack Daniel, 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 Daniel barrel. As soon as you get it. Oh my word. Check this out. In a bowl. It's like a bread bowl that you can eat. In a roll, absolutely. So the brisket guys gave me another sample. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of their bowl. It's okay. It's not quite as good as their brisket, but it's alright. <laughs> I think mean, you can eat it. That's pretty clever. Actually, it's not bad. It's like biscuit. Delicious. Wow. These guys are doing awesome stuff. It's like uh -huh. they're recycling. They're giving you massive, massive portions. And their brisket is unbelievable. Yeah. For 15 hours in Jack Daniel's barrels. Oh, oh okay. Right. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Hours. <laughs> Fifteen hours. Yeah. That is so delicious. Oh, okay, okay. I was panicked a little bit. I would have to get the roll right, man. Good. Complete food yeah. porn. Beautiful. Jack Daniel Barrel. This is what they actually smoke in. How big is it? Barrel size. Huge. A proper full size yeah, yeah. barrel. There we go. Wow. So they're also making Borobos rolls. Look at the sauce around that one. Oh, -ho. classic. This beautiful setting is home to Mango Mill. It's in there, we can go and have a look. But how beautiful is this with this koi pond and waterfall? It's an actual mill working. A great old machine making dishcloths. <laughs> and they have a sheep. And great old machines.
changing the spindle. And this is a slightly older machine. Uh -huh. And this one's even older. So cool, you got the cotton. It's all cotton grows. Cotton, oh wow, it's so soft. And I just like flat. And they turn it into cotton. Out on the deck, not so noisy. It's pretty interesting. It's still very loud here, but this is the industrial area where all the modern machines are making materials. I don't even know what that is down there. This building is gorgeous. So, from the sewing department, Every finished item comes down the slide. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. You take a self-guided tour around the whole factory to see how the textiles are completely made. Absolutely fascinating. Definitely something to do. Those are beautiful pattern fabrics. Wow. There's a massive warehouse up here. Oh. Loads of different things. And they're sewing over there. So loads of sewing of, of what what's and ironing more ironers than sewers i think ironing is more important in south africa for some reason <laughs> oh, it's great that you can actually see everybody working <clears throat> very industrious oh i finally figured out what that big machine at the back does it does the same thing as this old wooden one what it does is it takes all the the cotton and rolls it onto spindles like that yeah thank you for visiting wonderful things to come and do and there's all their contact details. They've got a great online shop as well. And after that, we walked into a nursery with plants. Yeah. No more cottony stuff, Rick. Mm -hmm. Really, really lovely nursery. And you can see the, the odd shape of that um, mango factory really quite unusual and cool. Some really interesting plants here. Cactus type things. I suppose this is a cactus area. No South African market is complete without a collection of animals. And these ones are pretty epic. So many beautiful shady areas with plants. Oh, and of course, a tea room. And there's a lovely bathroom. For that noise. It's a really large area, this old Nick village. And you can even do like wine testing and stuff. Oh, this is pretty cool. So there's a whole clean Karoo wine route. Gonna have to do that at some point. That looks amazing. So you've got the Bois Plus uh, shop over here with a wide range of wines that grow just over the mountains in the Otaniqua area. They've also got brandies and they were awarded the best fortified wine in South Africa. Check it this dark sculpture and look at that one over there that is so cute roll over <gasps> oh, man. talent well so far this old nick market has actually been really really cool thoroughly enjoyed it and there's so much stuff to see and do and eat <laughs> so although the market part is only on a wednesday all these other shops around the edge in the buildings they're here all the time so you can always come and visit these well, not seen at the moment, but she actually does henna tattoos here. Gratitude wall. You can write something that you're grateful for. That's sweet. Well, I am grateful for something. After the week we've had, a little bit of sunshine is nice. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Sunshine. It's a duck. 
<laughs> it's a lovely setting and the buildings are really old and stuff and I like that they've preserved it and with the big old trees as well super beautiful place to come look at these beautiful old farm buildings really cool design places pressing and packaging that must be part of the actual factory thing and look there's at this. a load more there's chocolatiers uh -huh, and pottery and a pottery studio and somebody does nails and the uh -huh. it's like a whole big community of probably an old farm where all the houses now are and look things. at that that's a person in the tree oh, wow. let's go check it out it's probably old horse barns i love all the little details look at that it's like a wood and a stone gorgeous This is quite big, Rick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Oh, check out the bridge, Rick. <laughs> okay, it's not ancient or anything, but it's a bridge. Bridges are bridges. Yeah. Bridges yeah. are bridges. <laughs> oh, this is pottery. I can tell because they got a kiln. <laughs> it actually says pottery on the side. Yeah. Awesome chimney. British Rick here. So yeah, cool pieces of pottery. Obviously made here and for sale at a small shop. Find you some chocolates. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, let's go for Nice building. Oh, I love the stonework on this one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, no, they've all been plastered over, but they probably all look like this underneath. Local stone. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Lots of fixing up work, but yeah, <laughs> Just smells like chocolate in here. Mm -hmm. Look at all these chocolates. Ooh, strawberry and lollipops. Yeah, marshmallow. Oh, they're marshmallows. Oh, there's a a whole chocolate. Oh, you need a, a chocolate shot. Just get a shot of it. Oh my word! So they've got these uh, cute gift boxes of truffles. Excuse my shadows. And then the bigger ones as well. Ten truffles. That's a lovely gift. And they actually sell their own hot chocolate. You can get like a dark hot chocolate and a milk one and a chili dark. Wow! Well, there's actually a, a whole beautiful story about these chocolatiers and you can read all about it. They're about 10 Rand each and this one might be chili or it might be salted caramel, it might be something else because they're not labeled. <laughs> it's really nice. Good quality <laughs> chocolate. Mm. <laughs> it's chilly, it's really hot. <laughs> In the back of the throat, it's back of the throat hot. Nice. <laughs> okay, got into the salted caramel. Mm. Look at that. Oh, it's lovely. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we got some beautiful little cheesecakes here with pomegranates oh. <laughs> and some muffins. And have a look at these breakfast bars. Got hit by the wind. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't make the knives? No. My dad Slacker, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can only so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and your jewelry looks like it takes all your time anyway. Thanks. Yeah, I know it does. But I love it. It's oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Actual handmade knives from indigenous wood. And he actually mines the steel himself and forges it and yeah yeah very industrious family this yeah you should see we all operate out of a little tiny garage uh -huh. so it's cramped but it's awesome awesome gorgeous handmade glass objects wow these are stunning yeah when the wind's blowing mm -hmm. story continues or ends here. This is where the finished products are. Well, this must be the history of the building. Yeah. Oh, there's a wall of things here, but check this one out. I saw them actually making this one on that really old glue. Ah, so this is great. They actually tell you when you're buying it, what loom it is woven on. Amazing, and by who? It is mostly functional stuff, table and uh, kitchenware. Maybe some stuff for your lounge, but pretty cool. 
Yeah, just loving these floors, which Ricky hasn't walked on once. It's yellow, really. Yeah, I think so. Beautiful. Look at the lintels. Oh man, check out these lintels. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, if you're looking for the farm produce, better come early. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's already sold out. Oh, some pretty, pretty cool print shirts with some whales and some oh, elephants yeah. and... Well, like, what they called it? Chameleon. Well, there's a Greek place there behind you, Rick. And some cakes and beef lasagnas and things here. And then onto the butchery. So you actually get your butcher's cuts here. Yeah. Some mints or all... Some lamb shank, I'm thinking. Lamb shank? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, 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 I'm good at guessing meat and now. some nice lump and sirloin stuff. Oh, Ooh, wow. Look at those. Wow. Yeah. So the famous Vitterdrift butchery. It's Vitterdrift to town. Okay. Actually famous for Oh, famous for their brothos. Yeah. Nice. So super cool as well. They plant their own garlic. Look how amazing those get. Look. And it's 10 rand a bag. I'm definitely getting some of that. Flourless brownies. You yeah, actually try them all, right? Oh my and word. Then they've got other things over there. Okay, so it's a hot chocolate block. She says it's a brownie but without flour. So what basically it's just no. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? It's, it's got something in the middle. With, with marshmallow. No, it's got marshmallow in it. That's insane. Is it possible to eat? Is it good? And all of them, everything here is 20 rand a piece. Even the awesome ones with cherries at the end there, I'm sure. Debbie and the dude, we're actually going to check them out when we get to Sedgefield. They actually have a permanent shop there and apparently the mosaic market is something to see. Awesome! Feel summery in that, Rick. Hats! Which means we made it to the end of the market. Well, at the beginning, so this is where we started. Hello. Hi. Check that, it's got like loads of compartments. Yeah. Multiple, I love this, it's like a little safari bag. It's super cool. And you'll never find anything. Yeah, you'll never know which part. <laughs> Oh, in case I missed them when we came in, you can get some coffee here. They have actual proper barista machine. I suppose that's where you're supposed to start. <laughs> yeah, start with the coffee. We start on the wrong side, Rick. <laughs> Super cool, and the whole. That's it. We'll go up a little bit higher so we can get a little bit of an aerial view. We're looking down at the markety bit. That's pretty cool. I mean, there are not that many stands, so. But there's enough. There's but enough that keeps plenty. you busy for a few hours. Because they're all completely different. Yeah. And of course we can. That's where the weaving's done in that big building. And then there's the... The nursery and all those other shops with the chocolate and... Yeah, everything. everything. Wow. So it actually is quite a, quite a small area. It has all the stuff in it. Yeah. Oh, great day out. We are right next to the end too as well. Oh wow, the Wednesday market at Old Nick. And also every day they have the Old Nick stuff. Well, anyway everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time.